Boeing supplier Spirit Aero Systems is down big. Quite a sell-off here after earnings, Jenny, and as I understand, a little disappointment in some of the supply chain. Disappointment in some of the supply chain, but at least they were able to pinpoint why we saw some falling profits and also some cash flow concerns because they did deal with a strike over the course of the past quarter, and they said they are not able to then rebound fully because of that. So at least there was a reason, right? That's why I was always what I like to see. If you're seeing losses widening on a year-over-year basis and missing the market, it's nice to at least be able to explain why. Sure. We did see the adjusted losses coming in around 146 per share, worse than the street had been expecting, worse on a year-over-year -year basis. On revenue, that did rise 8% year-over-year to $1.36 billion. This did slightly beat a consensus. Overall deliveries increased to around 342 ship sets during the quarter, compared to around 318 in the same period a year ago. They did state that the changes they've seen in operating losses were driven by these higher charges and changes in estimates, as well as contra revenue recorded for their potential customer claims. Their backlog stood at around $40 billion at the end of the second quarter. The cash balance at the end of the prior quarter was around $526 million. They said they won't be able to, though, recover some of those lost manufacturing days as a result of the worker strike, which was then reflected in this earnings miss as well as their overall cash flow figures. They will reduce their full year 737 deliveries to around 370 to 390 units, which negatively impacts their expected revenue earnings and cash flow now for 2023. They said that although they have resolved some of these issues they've been dealing with with their workforce and they have reached a four-year agreement, they are still seeing some vertical attached fitting issues on some of their overall units in addition. So while they have resolved one problem, it seems like they're still working through another problem. Again, part of the reason we're seeing this massive move to the downside today. So they now expect their annual free cash flow burn to fall between 20, 200 and 250 million. That is up from its prior guidance, but it's still been a pretty disappointing past couple, couple of months for this names. And I think anytime you have consistent issues, like you have this worker strike, now you have some parts that are going to delay your production. I mean, it's sort of like, what do we have to look forward to here for this name? It just feels like it's headwind after headwind. Yeah, not great, especially when the demand is high right now for the end product and Boeing's getting orders and needs to get the planes out and the airlines are complaining about there not being enough planes. This is a pretty key part to, of that supply chain now that's uh, not going to live up to expectations. We, we've even seen in some of the durable goods numbers the big role of uh, commercial flight demand. So uh, important story could have easily gone overlooked. Thanks, Jenny Horn. Great look here. Spirito Systems down more than 20%.